Now, all right, um, taking it back to say like the, the makeup days of when you first you know started wearing, wearing makeup. Um, if you go right back to sort of say like say Mark Bolan, mm. where I mean Mark becomes really big, uh, he, he gains you know like fans and people who follow him, you know boys and girls who try to emulate and start you know testing around with yeah. makeup and that. I think most people when they meet me say. <laughs> God, they expect it to be a real fairy, and so like the, the illusion is completely shattered. No, but, but I mean, but I mean, when you talk about inspiration, I mean, yeah, and also that like we like say someone does follow Mark or so the Bowie mm. Ziggy Stardust time, and they suddenly find that when they, they play around with the makeup, they find something that suits themselves. When did you find the point where you finally found something that suited you, that you became your own individual? Mark Bowie never influenced me visually. I think mentally maybe, but not visually. Right. But um, I, I don't think, I mean, even David Bowie, I just think that, you see, David Bowie was somebody who discovered eccentricity through Lindsay Kemp. Right. Whereas, from my own point of view, I mean, I only discovered it from what I saw around me, which is true for everyone, really. I mean, you can only be what you see right. and what you hear.